In question 67, Your Eminence, how are venial sins forgiven? Venial sins are forgiven in many ways. They can be forgiven by our turning to God in a very intense way, what we call act of charity, not just reciting a prayer, but a great desire for God, love of God. It is very near to what we call cont uh, act of contrition. That means it really pains us that we offended God, not because we might go to hell and suffer for it or purgatory, but because we don't want to offend God who loves us so much, which means we love him. Mm -hmm. If it is very intense, it can be removed of venial sin or even mortal sin sometimes. Mm -hmm. Then venial sin can be removed by good works, like helping a poor person, like uh, accepting cold and offering it to God, or heat, offering it to God, tiredness, poverty, hunger, thirst, any such sickness and offering it to God. In that sense, a person who is sick in hospital, maybe for two years, three years, may accumulate more merit before God than many people who are running around. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. Only God knows. Venial sin can be forgiven, obviously, when we go to the sacrament of reconciliation or penance. We confess our sin and we ask for forgiveness. Added to the humiliation of kneeling in front of a priest and admitting that we are wrong. You see, God uses all that then, and he gives his pardon. Venial sin can be forgiven also by reception of some sacraments, so, and by prayer. There are many ways, therefore, in which venial sin can be forgiven. So by going to Mass, and we're asking for forgiveness there in the Mass, uh, venial sins can be forgiven there. It can. Yes. It can. That is why the practice of the church is anyone who is conscious of mortal sin must first go to the sacrament mm -hmm. of penance, kneel in front of a priest, admit your fault, beg forgiveness, determine to change, and the priest, in the name of God, mm -hmm. and as minister of the church, gives God's pardon. But a person in venial sin is not bound to go to this sacrament before receiving Holy Communion. Because first, venial sin does not remove grace from the soul. Secondly, venial sin can be forgiven in other ways. However, the church also advises us to go to confess our sins, venial sins. And if you want to make greater progress in the spiritual life, you will have to determine to go to the sacrament of penance more often, say once a month, once, once in two weeks. Right. We are not presuming that these people have mortal sin. It will be shocking. Yeah. I know. Some of the great saints went to confession every week. You mean they born to have a dozen houses and <laughs> sinned with six women? Not at all. <laughs> it is even actions which other mortals may not even consider to be sins at all. But these big sins, being so near to God, are so sensitive of anything at all that offends the holiness of God, and they confess it, and they ask forgiveness. In short, they are at advanced level in the love of God. So spiritual writers and the church tell us, if you want to make more progress before God, we presume there is no mortal sin in your life at all, but being a child of Adam and Eve, there will be some venial sin sometime. So please go to sacramental penance once a month, once in two weeks, according to situation, possibility. Because this sacrament of penance um, not only forgives our sins, but it gives us more grace, doesn't it? To, it does. To give us strength to endure all the problems that we have in our life. Exactly. It gives us more strength to live our Christian life according to our vocation. Yes. And the Christian life is not easy. Mm -hmm. It is difficult. It also gives us God's help, which we called actual grace earlier, yes. to resist temptations. Mm -hmm and also to correct our major faults. Mm -hmm. Because most of our sins come from our major faults, those called capital sins or right. underlying tendencies, so which may not lead to mortal sin necessarily. Mm -hmm.